Hello there and welcome to Eurotruck Simulator 2 with me, Stuckle Gross. How are you? Okay, um, you have got 3% damage. I'm sure you probably need to sleep or do something anyway, so, um, let's, uh, let's just go to drive. I think we're in Southampton. I think we're in Fadman country. And, uh, I've got my controller tied around my headset. One second. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can see somewhere to rest, uh, and uh, we just need to find somewhere where we can repair our uh, our truck. Uh, I'm thinking in the next episode or so. Oh, cheers, mate! Uh, to get um, a new truck. Um, so uh, leave your comments down below on what truck I should get. <coughs> I think I've had this Scania for a while now, so. It'd be interesting to see what you guys think. Oh, go, 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 go. Is that a garage? That'd be perfect. It's a garage, but I've got to buy it. That's not the one I'm on about. That's uh, I think I, could, I know where to go. So, how are you peeps? Uh, everything okay? Uh, I tried to do a, a live stream uh, with the webcam the other day and uh, it went terribly wrong in some respects. Uh, I had uh, a few technical issues. Oh gosh, come on. Go, 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 go. Okay. I hate the AI in this game. Um, yeah, so I had a few uh, technical issues, but uh, we managed to stream something, which is good. But uh, I'm going to be practicing with that, and hopefully, uh, not this one, the next one. Hopefully get better. <laughs> okay. Let's cut the buses. I've been looking for some new mods as well for this. Um, I did download a couple of mods, but I can't seem to find where they are. Like right, there's a. He stopped to let me out, and then he decided to go. Err, AI. Uh, yeah, I downloaded a few mods, but um, I can't seem to find them. I don't know where they've uh, where they got to. Okay, let's repair. Enter. Uh, give it a service. So that's not too bad. There we go. Can we add anything else? Can we upgrade our our truck at all? We got the top line. We got the biggest chassis available. What engines have we got here? Uh, 480 horsepower. We can go for a 500 horsepower. Um, yeah. It's gonna cost us six grand. Yeah, we, we'll go for the bigger engine, the V8. Lovely. Let's see what else we got then. Uh, transmission. We can go for the retarder. Uh, standard UK. We can go exclusive. No. And everything else is like sort of cosmetics. We got 70, 77 grand. Kind of got to save our money. So, uh, all right. Let's sleep. So we got a bigger engine. That always helps. You are getting some rest. And then uh, let's get a job. Let's go to the job market, freight. Uh, where are we? We're in Southampton. Okay. Um, price per distance. Um, yeah, price per distance is a good good shape. So we can go to Rings. Have we been to Rings before? No. Amsterdam. Yes, we've been to Amsterdam before. Sheffield, yes. Strasbourg, yes. Rotterdam, yep. Metz, no. Kiel, wow, that's a that's a fair old trek that is. Um, Meinheim, been there. Glasgow, been to Glasgow. Sheffield, been to Sheffield, and that's it. Well, I guess we're going to Reims. So uh, let's set the GPS. Let's go. Ooh. Okay. 
where is it? It seems ages since I played this. It's only been like a couple of days. <laughs> whoa, 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 That's close. I just got it repaired and then I uh, smashed into a Renault. A lot of people as well on the live stream are saying about um, how I make uh, Euro Truck Simulator seem so easy to easy to drive, and a lot of people are uh, you know having problems with it. My recommendation really is to use an Xbox 360 controller like I have, and once you set it up, it's um, it's fairly easy. It's like um, any other driving game, I suppose. Um, oh, there's a red van. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought they were going to crash. Have I got the lights on? There you go. Quarter past five in the afternoon. It's actually quite nice driving without a trailer. It's more uh, sort of responsive. I haven't really noticed any difference with the uh, the engine upgrade. Well, 20 brake horsepower it. To be honest, it probably wasn't worth it, but uh, yeah, it's a new engine. Isn't it? All right, looks like we're going to Pratiker. Okay, we're off to Reims. I can't remember what the cargo was now. Reams. It was a tractor. A tractor. Oh no, not a tractor. A digger. Sorry. Let's take the job. My trailer is ready. Um. Ah, there it is. Okay, um, I don't know if I'm going to make that, this circle, with that other trailer being there. No. Have I made it? Oh, look at that bit of driving there, peeps. Perfect. Alright, let's check out the uh, the beacon view. Pick up your... Oh, it's not on. There you go. Look at how chick that. you got a beacon at the back as well. Beautiful. Okay. Let's crack on. We've got a long way to go. And we need the money. I downloaded the, uh, a new uh, new name mod thingy um, to see if it will uh, it will work with the new update. But uh, I think there's a lot of uh, mods that I've got installed that are um, are not working anymore. So what I might do is um, just get rid of everything, and start again. I want to get maybe a couple of oversized mods uh, installed. Uh, I'm just waiting for the um, for the guys to. Uh, to catch up with the 1.4.8 update, you know the modders. Whoa, that's close. Um, yeah. So once they've uh, once they've kind of um, caught up, I'll have a look at uh, putting some new mods on. And again, I, I want a new truck. Um, I did download like a Peterbilt truck, which is like an American style truck. But uh, for some reason, I, I don't know where to buy it from or how to get it. So oh, you can hear the rumble strip again. <laughs> uh, I think this is uh, a fairly long way to Reims, so this might be split over two videos. 
uh, yeah, so I mentioned about the live stream. It, it was great. I, I really, really, really enjoyed it, and I think the peeps out there enjoyed it. It was just I had so many uh, sort of technical, stupid problems uh, at the start. A lot of it was uh, because of tw um, not Twitch, uh, XSplit I was using. Um, if you guys are uh, thinking of using uh, XSplit soon, do not update to the 1.3. Stay with the 1.2 because the 1.3. Every time you uh, you press a key on your keyboard. It uh, turns the microphone off, uh, and that was what was happening. So, which it took me a while to uh, to figure out, basically. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Yeah, it looks great, but we can't hear you." I'm like, "Oh no!" And uh, everyone's seen my dog, which is nice. I've also got my uh, Q and A video to do as well today, so that'll be going up shortly. Um, I'm trying to answer everybody's questions the best I can. The M27. Why wow, this thing feels slower? Come on! I think this has got more torque than the other one, but oh. am I going uphill? I probably am going uphill. That's probably why it's taking slower to speed up. I won't need to stop for fuel either. I think we've got 362 miles to go. And uh, we got 609 miles in the tank. So we should be okay. I don't get that. There is no motorway in the UK that does what they just done then. You know, I have that bit where they have to wait and then it just doesn't happen. Going into three lanes, going into two lanes. It doesn't happen. <coughs> I'm just trying to picture where the M27 is in the UK from Southampton. It might be along the bottom M3, then M27, then we're going on to the M25, and then M M2, I think. <coughs> I could be wrong. There we go. Oh, look at that lovely plowed field to our left. We still got eight and a half hours to get there. Wow. And it's quite nice to leave the UK. You know, we, we went to Birmingham to Southampton. I think because um, of the long range um, skills that we've got, you know, we can really do like Scotland to Southampton, and that is kind of like the the uh, the norm. But uh, you can only do it once or twice before you covered pretty much the whole of the uh, whole of the UK. So um it's nice to go into uh into Europe. Uh another thing as well, people leaving comments saying, Well, you are in Europe. I understand that, but um I, sh I, I don't know how to explain it really. When we say Europe we mean sort of mainland Europe. You know, we're not bordered with anybody in Europe, you know, we're we're an island. Um uh, so, yeah, mainland Europe is, is kind of what I'm saying there. I don't, you know, I'm not saying that uh, UK is not in the European Union. Uh, I'm saying, when I say Europe, I mean mainland Europe rather than UK. I hope I've cleared that up. Because <laughs> I know some people are like, what do you want about Stucco? You know, you are in Europe. I know I'm in Europe, but um, hopefully that will uh, that will clear that up. Because, you know, you, you know, um, it's amazing how how you know things you say like every day and you think you're correct, you know, and um you don't mean to, to be disrespectful or anything, but some of the comments obviously people can take the wrong way and uh you know, as as a let's player you've got to take that into consideration. So I, I like to explain my actions and, and you know, there was no um disrespect meant by saying that and uh I hope uh, I hope I cleared that up. Anywho Toilet Tycoon, that was fun. Um, a lot of people want me to do an LP of that, but uh, I don't think I will be doing an LP of that because it's being done. Um, I might do, like, when I hit, if I hit uh, 40,000 subscribers, then uh, I'll um, 
I might do uh, another episode of that, like uh, on a different level difficulty or something like that. And uh, did he just overtake me and then slow down? Yeah, he did. Speed? What? Ah, uh, fifty in here, isn't it? Oh, that's why he slowed down. Oh well. Yeah, but 440 quid speeding fine, that's uh, a bit excessive. I tell you, in the, in the next update, they should do um, points on your license. And you have to. Uh, you, you have to drive within the points. And if you get um, 12 points and you lose your license and it's like game over or something for a year, um, that will stop you from speeding. It's like all these little mods, all these mods to say, you know, that unlocks. The speed restrictions and things, and I don't see the point in that. Um, you know, the idea of the game is to play within the rules of the game, the simulation. You know, it it's not really a simulation if you're doing 200 miles an hour in a, in a lorry and a massive trailer. Wow, is that a big cloud up ahead? Don't that sky look painted? It does, doesn't it? So like looking at a painted picture, I haven't noticed that before. All right. That rumbling strip is a little bit annoying. <laughs> Beep. Oh, Marianne just uh, took 2,800 quid. Thank you very much. I think my drivers have been a bit slow recently. I haven't seen them uh, bring in as much money. Yeah, I don't get that. That just uh, doesn't happen. Oh, Joshua, 5,000, uh, here we go. I used to say, look, the drivers haven't brought in very much, and then Joshua, oh, he's levelled up as well. Lovely. So he brings five grand in. Marianne brings two eight. Oh, there's a harvester, look, working away. Is Ewan. Hey, Ewan. It is uh, John Deere. All class, Lexian. 770. I was sat in one of them. Oh, yeah. There's probably a lot of people watching this going, well, I've actually driven it and uh, I've uh, harvested with it. Uh, yeah, look out for my question and answers video. Uh, the answers will be coming up shortly, as I said before. Uh, a lot of the questions were repeated, but um, I think I managed to answer most of them. There were some, uh, some strange questions and some amazing questions as well. <laughs> I tell you, being off work, like this is my my second week off work. It's um, it's weird. I feel like I'm uh, I'm skiving or, or I'm not um, I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. If that makes sense, you know, I'm being paid to play computer games. It it, it doesn't make sense. It's a lovely job to have, you know. It's a, it's a nice position to be in to be to be paid to uh, to play games for you guys, you know. Um, but uh. Yeah, it feels kind of wrong. Right, where are we going? Well, we're in Dover, are we? Yep, and so we're taking the channel. Are we taking the channel tunnel or the ferry? Uh, can't tell yet. I think, ah, uh, it's a channel tunnel. Oh, I thought I was going to hit that car then. Okay. We're going left here. Which ones can I go down? I oh, know there's some that you can't. No. No. Yes.
Ah! Can't you go in there? Oh, that'll do. Enter! I'll just crash my truck. It's all repaired. Uh, 240 quid, that ain't bad. Let's go over. And we're here. Oh, this is where we have to drive on the wrong side of the road again. <clears throat> or to 90% uh, of the people watching this, the right side of the road. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I said this the other day, actually. I was looking... Um, my brother was my brother came round and he was looking at the um, uh, the videos and he said uh, he just couldn't believe people would be watching these videos. He, he said that uh, who watches these? Um, you know, you playing computer games? He said I just don't get it. I said well, that's cool. I said but you know a lot of people really do enjoy uh, watching the videos. And he said um, you know where are they from? So I showed him my uh, analytics and um, it was a surprise for me as well because you know I, I don't look at it very often. Um, and we we was looking and there's countries like all around the world that watch the videos it's it's so weird it n not weird that's the wrong you know i just i can't believe you know there's people from i don't know kazakhstan and and um new zealand and, and you know honolulu places like which i you know i'd love to visit one day there's people there watching these videos and it's um wow i just want to say thank you very much it uh, it really is amazing. Okay. Well, this is where we're on the wrong side of the road. So we're in Dover. Auto context Germany, Amsterdam, where else? Is that Thailand? Um, we never know. <laughs> well, this is going to be a tight corner. Oh, but like a boss. So I wonder what motorway are on. Rumble strips. And we're good. We're off. We're off. We're in Europe. Mainland. <laughs> wow, well, we might need to fill up actually. I, I GBI. I'm just checking out all the uh, the trailers um, companies because I don't know what mod's working and what isn't. It's like spot the mod. <laughs> uh oh. Wow. Um, not really get any more speed out of this uh, uprated engine. I was hoping to get at least 56. But it looks like 55. Go on, give us 56. Go on. 56. We're going down now. 56. Go on. No, it ain't gonna happen. I think my uh, my vehicle is um, restricted to 55 miles an hour. That's not the end of the world. It just means I think with a bigger horsepower engine you can get to 56 a lot uh, a lot quicker or 55 a lot quicker than you can with a smaller engine. Uh, I think I might sort the interior out right a little bit more. Um, you know, go for the exclusive one or get a whole new truck. I don't know. A lot, of, a few people have been saying in the comments recently. Um, that I should be looking at getting a new truck soon, so I think I will change a truck. But what truck do you guys want me in? 
We've done the Scania. I think I'll stay away from the Scania one now. Uh, I quite like the look of the Renault. Uh, Renault trucks. Um, yeah, let us know. Uh, yeah, it hasn't rained for a while, has it? Hang on, how do I bring that thing up? Oh, that's the map. Not the map. I wanted the... Uh, is it F4? Yes. Uh, forgot to tick these. We don't want the high beam. There you go. That's better. Got all the auxiliary lights on now. So yeah, I'll, I'll constantly look at the Euro Truck website to see if there's any um, any updates or releases. And I know they've just released the year uh, 1.4.8 uh, recently, but um, SCS is the kind of company that just surprises you. You know, um, when you least expect it, bang, there's another update. There's something else. Uh, and you guys are fantastic for letting me know in case I miss it on Facebook or on Twitter or something so I appreciate that uh. why did you slow down? it's uh, 70 along here Ninety. I quite like this uh, dual carriageway. It seems to be um, moving uh, fairly quick. Two hundred meters. We got the uh, a service station, but we're okay with the fuel at the moment. We don't need to rest. Ooh. Oh, there's been some fairly close <laughs> encounters <laughs> with me crashing this episode. Uh, the um, the website, now I need to talk about the website because I know on my videos I'll be linking the www.stockergloss.com uh, A lot of people are clicking on them and they're getting redirected to my YouTube page. Now what's going on with that is uh, I am at the moment trying to transfer the domain over from uh, the fan to myself. Um, if you can remember you know, a few months ago the fan set up a, a website and uh, he did a fantastic job in uh, in running it and you know it was perfect in every way a lot of people were using it and it was great to uh, to have the connection with the uh, community so massive props to him now the only trouble is um, I kind of sort of, sort of want it under my control uh, not that he was doing a bad job it, nothing to do with that it's just um, you know if I wanted to change anything or if I wanted to do anything different then um, you know I felt like I was putting it on t onto him and uh, not only that, you know, I wasn't paying for it, so I felt quite bad that uh, he was fitting the bill. Although he was happy, happy to do it. So, um, I've uh, initiated the transfer of the domain to myself, uh, which is going through as we speak. So I'm hoping to have uh, some uh, updated news for you, as and when. So that's where we are. We're in the transition of moving over the domain to myself. It's not as easy as uh, flicking a button, I don't think. So, um... As soon as that's done and completed, I will, uh, I will let you peeps know. But at the moment, uh, I've, I have a TeamSpeak server. Uh, I think it's 75 slots or something, and we got probably a good 20 or 30 people that use it. You know, fairly uh, well all the time, really. We've got a really nice community in there. I'm in there at least once a week. You know, chatting to everybody. So um, the details are on that on my forum. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to find the forum, but if you if you uh, Google Stocko Gloss uh, forum, you should be able to find it there. Um, and then the Teamspeak details are there. You know, get on Teamspeak, have a chat with myself, have a chat with uh, the other peeps that's in there. And um, yeah, you have got a great community down there. And uh, if you know people that ask me like, you know, what's what's my proudest moment of being on YouTube? You know, is it the you know, 
going past the seven and a half million mark on the views or hitting 35,000 subscribers as much as that it's like a massive milestone for me and as much as like I can't believe it really um, it is my biggest um, sense of achievement really is the community that we got with um, you know with the peeps on TeamSpeak on Facebook on Twitter um, you know the comments on my on on uh, on the YouTube, which I do still read every comment, um, and uh, you know meeting up with Dur, Fad, and Das, and and you know a few others, Brad, and you know the other YouTube, you know who who basically like inspired to to get onto YouTube uh, after seeing me derp around, and I that is probably my biggest achievement. You know, it, it's um it's great that that we got this uh this community I guess you know I keep saying the word community but there's no other word for it and um, yeah I'm just very very proud of it um, and uh, long may it continue why is the DHL got a chicken on the back uh oh uh oh uh oh I'm oh, sorry man I'm gonna have to yeah my bad so that's uh, stock of gloss one <laughs> AI nil um, don't worry, I'm sure they get their own back on me at some point. But um, that's kind of working in the background. We've got the TeamSpeak set up, we've got the forums still going, uh, and getting the domain transferred over. As soon as it's transferred over, I let you peeps know. Um, but uh, yeah, that's what we're working on in the background. Uh, also, uh, we've got, um, well, I see we, uh, Fadman and, and Dirtebers have got a. Farming Simulator server, dedicated server uh, set up. We're just testing it at the moment, getting the mods sorted and everything. So um, the plan is to get um, a community server going, um, and that will be happening shortly. So that's all happening behind the scene, scenes as well. Um, and what's lush as well about the community is that already, you know, you peeps have been setting up Minecraft communities, and you know, you're setting up Minecraft servers. Um, and, and and that's fantastic. And, and what I what I'd like to know really is, um, you know, get yourself on Teamspeak when I'm on there, and um, you know, let me come and have a look at your servers. Let let, let me see the world that you're building, and uh, you know, I, I'm really interested in that. I've done that a number of times with the peeps on Teamspeak. Um, you know, leave your comments down below if you'd like me to come on and have a look at your server. Uh, no, better still, send me um, send me a private message on on YouTube with, with the information and um, you know a time date or whatever and I'll do my very best to uh, to come on and have a look so uh, yeah yeah I like to see the worlds that you guys are building uh, you see me and Dur kind of building stuff I suppose but you see the world that we've got uh, I'm just amazed at the level um, you know, I, I can say sort of Thomas and Nick really uh, from my team speak. They they set up the server and um, you know the Oscar and and the other guys there, Chris and they um, they had no idea about Minecraft until me and Dur started playing it and uh, yeah, off their own back set it up and their world is amazing. You know, they're so far advanced more than me and Dur. It's um, you know I, I learn a lot just just by having a walk through with with them. So. I'm interested to see all you other peeps. Uh, I, I can imagine all your worlds are brilliant and, and fantastic, and I'd like to come and have a look if uh, if you guys would let me. So send me a PM on that one, and uh, we'll uh, try and hook up a time and date for me to come on. Um, what I might do is actually record some of it with your permission, uh, and we'll do like a bit of a montage video, and uh, we'll showcase your worlds uh, on my channel if if that's okay. Um, yeah, so that's an idea that's been kicking around my head for for a little while, and uh, I thought it's a good opportunity for me to uh, to mention it now. And um, yeah, it should be fun. Ah, oh, do you know I I do and I don't. I hate the the night rides just because the thing about this um, this simulation is that it's very very picturesque. It, it's it's a beautiful beautiful game. And at night, it kind of ruins it a little bit. But then again, it, it look how real does that look? You know, it lights up only what you expect it to light up. It's not doing anything more than you'd expect it to do. And because of that alone, 
it looks real, you know. Although those those sunflowers look a bit bright. Um but yeah. I haven't heard back from uh can you remember like uh, a few months ago, uh SCS had this uh competition for you uh to win um become a, a truck driver. Can you remember me talking about that a few episodes ago? Well, it was probably a good ten episodes ago. I haven't heard back to see if anybody's actually won that yet. Um I think that's a great story. Am I going this yes. Uh oh. I thought it was going straight on. <laughs> What's me talking again? Not paying attention. Oh really? Baltic Sea Europe Transport NCSS I was going to say, if he didn't move I'd be screwed, there's no way of me getting out of this one Oh, talking of the rain Yeah, also um, a lot of people have been saying about don't trust the uh, the sat nav too much. Uh, go with your gut feeling. I probably end up in um, in the sea if I just went my own uh, my gut feeling. I definitely wouldn't be able to get there. My sense of direction in real life is shocking. I have to have a sat nav to go anywhere. Uh, even if I've been there, like, like there's one uh, company I used to go to on a on a twice a week basis uh, for about a year and I still need a sat nav well I don't need <coughs> don't need a sat nav to get there but it's still, like I know the post code off by heart and I just plug pl it into the sat nav just as like a, a, a comfort blanket you know and um, yeah that's how I roll really oh income Marianne 1338 quid lovely Oh, this is going to be one of those long roads, isn't it? These guys are never going to turn off. Oh, he has. Beautiful. Now, was that saying that in writing at below? Was that friend? No, fresh, fresh line. Okay. Oh, it's just must be carrying food or something. Oh, Baltic Sea. It's probably fish. That'd be a good guess, wouldn't it? <laughs> we're in France! I think we're in France anyway. Calais, France. Rumble strip. You really can't see anything, can you? I think I will need to rest very soon. I'll start getting tired in a minute. Wow, it's dark. Have I gone? Uh oh. I should have turned off, shouldn't I? Why is this sat now? Yeah, I'm 17 miles away. I'm, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. Uh oh. How am I going to turn around? I'll have to find somewhere to turn around. Can I turn around here? No. Oh. Okay. 
we've turned around. We might have damaged something. Not sure. But um, I can't believe I missed that turn in. Dope. I was just looking at the miles. It was like you know, like ETA miles. It was just going up. Ah, that ain't right. <coughs> right. I've been hearing um, all sorts of stories as well about the SCS release in the multiplayer. Um, not quite sure what's true, what's not. But um, <coughs> they're saying about uh, how our customer expects delivery very soon. Make sure you arrive on time. Oh gosh, okay. Um, oh, music. Uh, not quite sure what's real, what's not. Uh, a lot of them saying um, the multiplayer app or mod you can get is um, in fact a virus, so do not download it. So I, I kind of stayed away from any multiplayer things. Uh, until SES, you know, announce it on their website, I'm not going to uh, be touching any of them. But just a bit of a word of warning to you peeps. Don't know how true it is or not, but I rather, uh, you know, side on the side of caution. Side on the side of caution is that a, is that a word? Uh oh. Nearly crashed then. I'm rushing because the music's getting louder. Oh, it's in a mine. Okay. I just want to mine my own business. <laughs> uh, don't play mine games with me. Ah. <laughs> uh, Right, where do I go? Really? They want this thing at two o'clock, half past two in the morning. There's nobody here. It's empty. Why are they expecting delivery at uh, half past two in the morning? Oh, there are always people here. Okay. There we go. Job completed. Excellent. Did go 500 delivery from Southampton to Rhymes, Reims. Um, how much money did you get out of that? Uh, is that all? 17 grand? I thought it was worth more than that. Did I choose the wrong trailer again? I don't know. So, uh, 300 litres of fuel. Yeah. Pretty good XP for that. Awesome. And we got 1% damage. Dope. Okay, um... Well, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, to send me a PM on your on your Minecraft servers. Um, I'll uh, be interested to come down and have a look if you guys will let me. Um, my name is Stocker Gloss. This is Euro Truck Simulator. I was going to say 2013. Euro Truck Sim 2. Take care and ciao for now.